Hey everybody, Dan Cook here. I research stocks and investigate stocks for bullmarketrun.com. We specialize in natural resource opportunities and and also small cap opportunities. We, we discover a few uh, exceptional ones in the micro cap and small cap area as well. I want to talk to you today about a strategy that works. Bottom line. One of the better kept secrets within the natural resources industry, call it optionality. Here's what Rick Rule, CEO of Sprott US, here's his definition of uh, his quote on optionality. Essentially, we're hoarding a resource that's in the ground, be it oil, copper, gold. It costs a lot of money to find these resources in the ground. They're always worth something even if they never see the light of day, even if no one ever produces that resource, it does have a value. And that value fluctuates dramatically based off the underlying commodity price. So gold in the ground is going to command a higher value when gold is 2,000 per ounce. And it will can, it'll command a lower value when gold is $1,000 per ounce. Make sense? So one of the best things about the natural resource option is that it doesn't expire the way a stock option does. The caveat on that is a management team that's running the company that isn't using the money frivolously because the only way you can really go wrong with optionality is, is if you don't buy right. But as long as you buy right and the management pretty much does nothing, the company survives until the commodity price appreciates, which will happen. So, so this strategy does require patience, but when your timing is correct, if you're moving out of a bear market phase into in, entering into a bull market, then uh, you might not have to wait as long. So on, on uh, July 7th of last year, we put out this piece to our subscribers, big league, major optionality plays. Here were the results in less than nine months. So what I want to show you, and there's a reason for that, because I'm moving us towards how we can buy gold for just $8 an ounce. But I want to show you Alderon because it, it relates to the company we're going to talk about. You see here Alderon, when we put that piece out, you can see here in July, stock was $0.10. Cents. It had been going down for years and years, but eventually it just couldn't go any lower. The reason this spike happened in late October is the company put out a new set of economics on their iron ore project. And the economics, the numbers look much better because they made the project smaller, essentially. That's exactly, uh, oh, first here, here's the article. You can see this is, this is what it looked like. Here's our site. Um, you can see we put this nice piece together. Uh, highlighting each of the companies, spelling out exactly what an investor was paying for it at the time. So what we've recommended to our subscribers recently is uh, a company called Atacama Pacific Gold. Projects located in Chile. Other mines from north to south are littered uh, right in this general region. It's one of the largest undeveloped oxide gold deposits in the world. Here's the catalyst. Not unlike with Alderon, the last feasibility, the last pre-fees they did, estimated the initial, initial capital would be $400 million. So, so now, not unlike Alderon, what sparked that company's uh, stock to spike up, Atacama is doing the same thing. So, so one thing we like, again, our risk we feel is lower here because management has a 30% equity stake. So their interests should be aligned with ours, the sophisticated speculator. Any money they spend should be focused on making these economics look better in a smaller project. So that's exactly what they're doing. Most likely, this you're going to take $100 million off of that price as they begin to look at opportunities to reduce that initial capital. This study should be done sometime in Q1 of 2018. 
And it's going to factor in a smaller plant about half the size, 40,000 tons per day instead of 80,000. The input costs of many other things have come down as well, like fuel, electricity, labor, construction equipment, just to name a few. So most likely, the economics are going to look better on this project. And here is the proven and probable reserve. 0.4 grams a ton, almost 4 million ounces. Again, one of the largest undeveloped oxide deposits in the world. And this grade is not unlike the other mines that I'll show you in a moment in the area. So we're not even going to factor in that there's another million and a half ounces estimated worth of measured and indicated, but we're just going to talk P and P because that's the highest confidence level of a resource. So here's how you gain exposure to gold in the ground for less than $10 per ounce. The market cap of at the comma Pacific right now at 40 cents a share is $30.3 million. And I just showed you that resource, 3.7 million ounces. So when you divide those two numbers at 40 cents per share, we, the sophisticated speculators, are buying gold in the ground for just a little over $8 per ounce. That's a great price because at some point, there's a high likelihood this resource will be worth at least $25 per ounce, maybe more. That means a triple from here because we just need to go back a few years and look at other M&A activity where companies and investors paid $25 and even upwards of $100 per ounce for gold in the ground. Okay. Just wrapping up here, I want to show you this chart. Oh, first, let me show you these others. Uh, so just real quick, here's the Maracunga, the star in the middle. All these red dots are significant gold mines and deposits in the area. These other stars are also Atacama's projects. Just throw those in for free. Not even focused on those at the moment, but you never know. And this satellite imagery just gives uh, a little better idea of this north-south uh, trending Maracunga belt. You see a major miner here, Ken Ross, has, has got a few to the north. Here's Atacama's big block there. Um, Ken Ross, Yamada, another major. And as we go down, clearly there's other mines in this area from north to south. Atacama Pacific is uh, pretty much smack there in the middle. Most likely these guys, we don't necessarily want them to move this project forward. We just want them to minimize costs, show us better economics, and just wait patiently until one of these other majors just has to own this project. And when they do, they'll most likely be paying us $25 per ounce or more for what we're buying today for eight. Let me just wrap up with the chart. Again, we like when the, the stars align. Fundamentally, we think we're, we're getting a good deal. Uh, technically, obviously this stock has been an absolute disaster for anyone that's owned it over the last five, six years. But with any luck, timing is on our side. We won't have to wait as long because we think we almost know we've moved into a new bullish phase for gold. You can see here, this is at a comma. It was 15 cents. Basically went up four or five fold the first half of last year. Now we have an opportunity as this stock is consolidating, uh, buy into this weakness, very low volume here. What's our downside at the most? Maybe 30 cents. And the upside could be threefold or more. So those are the risk reward characteristics we just love. And that ultimately is what this whole investment business is about is relative risk versus reward. We're uh, pretty good at that over at uh, BMR. I mean, if you're watching this and not already a subscriber, just go ahead and come over to bullmarketrun.com and, and sign up. There's nothing to lose. If you're not completely satisfied after six months, we'll just give you your money back. No questions asked. Combined, we've been at this for over three decades. 
And look at our track record. This website has daily information updates going back years and years. Now we're writing more and we're doing more audio and video as well. Time is valuable. So go ahead and subscribe today. It's risk free. And uh, keep checking back in. We'll talk to you later.